Hey, what's up guys? I'm ValorCat. Uh, welcome back to another episode of the SMP. Probably before this clip, I, I showed off my base. But, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, quick recap. I got a perfect pickaxe. And then I died. In lava, burning it. And then I got another. Um, Simon, who is such an awesome person, helped me by giving me, uh, some stuff back. Well, not some stuff back. He gave me some spare armor from his collection that he got from end raiding. Um, oh yeah, Vitaly's part of the crew now. He's, uh, he joined the server. And that's Blue Pile, my ever so slightly sadistic brother. Hi. I introduced you as my What are you doing, Snoopy? Okay. Shoo! Shoo! Oh, Get wait, out of why are you guys in my house? Uh I need a pickaxe. Uh that's too many pickaxes. <sighs> yeah, they uh they've been uh, snooping. Snooping around my base. Unwarranted. Hey, 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 We are... Exploring. Yeah, we'll explore your own house. <laughs> hey, get the heck out of my house. Wait, where's the... I destroyed it because it linked no! up with Lego's portal and you couldn't return through it. If I make a portal, will it do the same? Yes. Trust me, I tried Dang. like hundreds of blocks that way and it still linked up with Lego's portal. That's oh, annoying. Man, my kelp farm can be harvested again. I still need lava. Hey, do you have redstone? I do. Okay, uh, I need pistons. So do I. Why do you need pistons? Because I want to make an automatic kelp farm that I can base my entire business around. It's not uh. economically sound, but hey, it's a, it's eco sound. <laughs> this is this is Vitali's house. And, and blue pile does. You know, I love the green, natural-looking carpet. Hey, we're working on it. We're working <laughs> on it. Hey, I didn't say anything. Hey, hey, it, it's Vitaly's design, okay? Don't, don't put this on me. Wow, are you saying it's a bad design? That's rude. No, no. I'm saying that I would have done it. I like it. It's just not finished. Okay, so I'll put that there, and then it'll fall down, and then I'll do a little pistony thingy, and then it'll stop, and then sure. Okay, sounds like you're saying a poop word every time you do that. Every time I say she, like yeah. Sheesh. Sounds like you just go she and then cut off. Yes, sir. Finally, I'm not linked up to the same stinking portal. Unfortunately, this portal is not in a very good spot for mining quartz. Um, and I don't feel safe here. Wait, is that... That is... Okay, I'm going to make a cobblestone trail because cobblestone is out of place in the nether, so I will know.
this is my bridge and my pathway that I will follow. Oh, I probably should have recorded that, but uh, I found a bit of ancient debris. Ah, whoa! Hopefully that doesn't happen too many times. That was nice. Alright, I, I resumed recording because I just had a brilliant idea. You see these? You see these? They should be flowing everywhere. But, if you find a lava flow, it wants to go to the lowest point. So, if you destroy a block beneath it before it spreads out all the way, it won't spread out all the way just go to the lowest point. Oh gosh, what the heck happened there? But yeah, yeah, it just goes to the lowest point. So that is a really good way of staying safe while mining for netherite. I should go mining for uh, redstone. <laughs> Zoinks, Scoobs, let's nope out of here. Zoinks! Zoinks! Ah, uh, that's a creeper. Oh no. Strategy. The desert! I'm here! Time to destroy the ecosystem! Let's get digging! I mean, realistically, I only really need a stack of sand. Okay, my timing is impeccable. I literally just stopped at a stack of sand. You know what? You know what? No, no, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I... I can't ruin this moment. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, listen. I don't have... much... uh, dried kelp blocks, which is going to be what I'm selling. So, it is completely and absolutely justified for me to use coal to smelt my sand. Okay, okay, you can't, you can't judge me for that. Also, one sec. Hold on. We've got the bread. We have got so much bread. And apples. And potatoes. And we have a pie. But so much bread! Hey, uh, so... The last 10 minutes of footage that you just watched, I have to admit, was recorded about a week ago, or something like that. It's been a while, I am terrible at editing on time, but I need more content to release the video, because less than 10 minutes of content really does not constitute a full SMP episode, and a lot has happened between then and now. 
not much in my own base, but a lot has happened outside my base. So I thought I would do a quick tour recap thing. Yeah, uh, public transportation system thing there. Uh, we're going into the shopping district because this place is really interesting. I have no idea what that's about yet. That's a clock tower. Uh, this is Simon's shop. Very nicely designed. He sells gunpowder, bones, and, and bone meal. He, he, uh, he sells a lot of it. The thing is, uh, I bought him out of stock a while ago. Um, <laughs> arrows, um, and string. Uh, this is one of my other, one of the other shops that I buy things from. This is, uh, I believe it's Harry's shop. He sells stone brick and, and stone. Yeah. Lego, Lego is selling a stack of that, or of, um, a stack of blocks for diamonds. He also, he also sells wood. Wait, what? Lego's selling what? <laughs> A stack of iron blocks for two diamonds. Dude, I'm gonna have to buy some. I already bought a ton of it. Andy's selling like a one diamond for two stacks of golden carrots or something. Oh yeah, Simon's on right now. He's the most powerful person on the server, if you haven't heard. Um, and that's his shop. You really need to get a logo on that. <laughs> I do. He he built the shopping district and most yeah. everything in it, including that. I mean, there are, like, that, three shops that I didn't that build. and mm. literally all the garden fountain stuff like that. I've got no idea what that is. It's clearly not complete, but it's looking good. I feel like... <gasps> That's Lego's iron shop. That's cool. Uh, but probably the most standout shop in the entire district is that. Oh my gosh, not to toot my own horn, but that's my <laughs> shop. I made it look yeah, absolutely so pristine. Cool. Holy. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Eco Laboratories, sustainable items, affordable price. Partnered with Kid and Crew Construction Co. coming soon. Uh... Basically, right now, we sell kelp blocks. No one's bought any yet, but hey, they're for sale. Uh, each of these s smelts 20 items. Uh, so... Oh, really? Every block smelts 20 items? Yeah, so for one diamond, you're getting enough fuel to smelt 640 items. That's 10 stacks of items. Wow. That you know, for those who can't do multiplication, this is my automatic kelp farm. It, uh... It... It's cool. I used, I used a design off of YouTube because I do that sort of thing. It produces 130,000... No. 100... Yeah, 130,000 kelp an hour. The problem is, it's a one-to-one -one transfer ratio between bone meal and kelp, which is why I bought Simon out of stock on bones. Uh, but, oh, wow, that's a lot more dried kelp than I thought there would be for some reason. Um, I'm just gonna craft all of this up. Yeah, uh, it's hooked up to a small auto smelter that I made that cooks it as it collects it uh and holy moly that's a lot is your auto cup farm working good oh it's working good all right <laughs> you should join the server and and get diamonds so you can pay me for random things under the guise of it being eco-friendly eco labs <laughs> <laughs> uh...
Oh yeah, and then when you buy your kelp blocks, you should go to the roof and relax under the shade of this totally not custom tree that I made. I mean, I didn't make it. It grew there naturally. <laughs> okay, bye.